Hi, I'm Steve Rosato. For over a dozen years, I've been helping buyers, sellers, and investors achieve their real estate goals. Today, I'm gonna to be focusing on my recommended process for buyers. Because while the process may seem simple, and to be honest with you, at first it is, complications begin to arise as you get closer and closer to actually purchasing your desired property. Now, before we get started, I create all this content for free. I give you all my knowledge that I've learned over the past 13 and 14 years, even better yet, all the failures that I've learned from. All I ask in return is you follow, like, subscribe, comment, and hey, if you wanna know when these videos come out, click on that notification button and you'll get notified immediately. So, let's move into the video. Now, I'm gonna throw a curveball at you because step one and two can be done simultaneously, but I'll be listing them in order of importance from a strategic standpoint. Step one, get pre-approved. This is not the point in which you'll be locked into a contract with your lender. However, it is imperative that you build a relationship with someone that you trust in this department. Along with the buying journey, you're gonna have dozens of financing questions and having somebody on the other end who's responsible and trustworthy will set you up for success. Not to mention, this is the point in which you'll be able to have a full understanding of what price point you should be considering, taking into account all of the financial variables such as taxes, HOAs, assessments, and of course, the offer amount that you'll be offering. Step two, decide on location. Start driving the neighborhoods in which you'd like to look at homes. Make sure the area has the schools, the nightlife, grocery stores, and transportation options that you need. While it sounds simplistic, I've oftentimes had clients skip this step only to waste their time looking at homes in areas that don't coincide with the neighborhood vibe that they were going for. Step three, viewing properties. Once you've educated yourself on what location feels right for you and have a full understanding of how much home you can comfortably afford, now it's time to start looking at homes. I'd recommend scheduling a maximum of three to four private showings with your agent for your first trip to avoid being overwhelmed. After the fourth home, it's nearly impossible to remember which home had what features or lack thereof. So a second viewing is recommended if you'd like to look at more than four properties. I'd also recommend that you view a few open houses on your own if you're looking for a more relaxed, lax schedule and potentially grab lunch or coffee nearby, stop into the open house and get a full understanding of what the neighborhood experience is before you start making offers on properties. Step four, vet your references. Interview your attorney and inspector before finding the property you'd like to purchase. I often tell my clients that a key to a successful and smooth transaction is ensuring that you have the right team on your side. You never know when you're gonna be walking into the perfect home that fits all of your criteria. And generally speaking, when that happens, it usually fits the criteria of a few other buyers with a very similar level of interest. So having a great team with you, with a proven track record, and ready to work for you when you're ready will put you at a huge advantage over that competition. And lastly, step zero, screen your agent. Choose somebody outstanding as your real estate agent. Buying a home is often the most important purchase that you'll make in your lifetime. You could be making the greatest investment you've ever thought of. So it's important that you know you're working with somebody who's looking out for your best interests and able to identify issues before they occur. At times, there are more licensed agents in the United States than homes for sale. So while it is easy to find a new agent to open a door at any point in time, very few have developed the skill set that their clients will need to put them at a significant advantage in the market while also protecting their best interests. So these are the top five steps I recommend when taking the step towards buying a new home. And while I service the Metro New York area, over the past decade, I've developed a strong realtor relationship network across the country. If you're looking for a great reference outside of my area, don't hesitate to reach out to me and I'll get you set up with a professional who can help you with your desired location. As always, thank you again for watching and I hope to talk to you soon.